Welcome to the Picademia course on the basics of semiconductors. This lecture covers the diffusion and drift processes in a PN junction diode. Let's start. By the time you finish this lesson, you will learn the formation of the PN junction, diffusion current, drift current, and the PN junction in the equilibrium state. In the previous lecture, I discussed the majority and minority charge carriers in doped semiconductors, and I talked a bit about the energy band diagrams of N and P type semiconductors, while no PN junction had formed. In this lecture, you are going to learn what will happen when the PN junction is created. You can imagine the P and N type semiconductor box as two gas containers. Free electrons in the N type semiconductor are the majority charge carriers and they can be considered as gas molecules. Therefore, we can assume that the end container is pressurized. The majority charge carriers in P-type semiconductor are holes and they are vacant sites. The P-type semiconductor has some free electrons as minority charge carriers. Therefore, we can consider the P-type semiconductor as a container that is minimally pressurized. When the P and N containers are connected, gas molecules from the N container are sucked or diffused into the P container. This diffusion stops when the pressure between the two containers is balanced. Once that happens, we say the containers are in the equilibrium state. Although this is true that gas molecules diffuse into the P container, when you look at both the containers in equilibrium state, you can see that the density of gas molecules in the end container is reduced and more vacant spaces appear between the gas molecules in the end container. In other words, some vacancies or empty states are diffused from the P container to the end container. In conclusion, what I want to say is that the diffusion happens from P to N and N to P semiconductors once the two containers are connected. Let's put the pressurized container analogy aside and take a closer look at the real diffusion process when a real PN junction is formed. Before the PN junction forms, both the P and N type semiconductors are neutral. Once the PN junction forms, the majority charge carriers, free electrons on the N side near the junction diffuse into P side and the majority charge carriers of the P semiconductor holes diffuse into the N side. What you need to understand is that the diffusion of electrons and holes is not due to an electric field between positive and negative charges. Rather, it is due to the difference in the concentration of charge carriers. This is comparable with the pressurized and vacuum N and P containers, respectively. Unlike the container example, the diffusion process in a real PN junction does not spread all across the P and N semiconductors, and it slows down very fast but does not stop. The diffusion only affects a small region around the junction. The reason is that Diffused electrons and holes recombine around the junction and what will remain is a region of uncompensated ionized acceptor and donor atoms. Note that acceptor and donor atoms are in covalent bonds and therefore they are immobile. Since this region is depleted from any charge carriers, it is called depletion region or a space charge region. The rest of the semiconductors remain neutral. Therefore, we can identify three regions, two neutral regions and one depletion region. The uncompensated ionized atoms in the depletion region form an electric field directed from the N semiconductor to the P semiconductor. This electric field resists the diffusion of holes into the N semiconductor and of electrons into the P semiconductors. We should not forget that on each side of the PN junction, we have minority charge carriers. On the P side, the minority charge carriers are electrons. On the N side, the minority charge carriers are holes. These 
minorities are mobile charges and can move freely in the bulk. While the minority charge carriers move freely, if they are within the diffusion length of the P and N semiconductors, LP and LN, they are affected by the depletion region electric field and are pushed into the other side. Electrons as the minority charge carriers of the P semiconductor are pushed into the N semiconductor and holes as the minority charge carriers of the N semiconductor are pushed into the P type semiconductor. This process is called drifting. Every time that a minority carrier uh, passes through the depletion region and goes to the other side, or in other words, drifts, the neutral regions become ionized. The N semiconductor becomes negative and the P semiconductor becomes positive. This slightly reduces the strength of the electric field in the depletion region. To maintain the neutrality of the neutral regions for an electron that drifts from the P semiconductor to the N, an electron diffuses to the P semiconductor. Now think about the current direction of these mobile charges. The current made of the movement of majority charge carriers is called the diffusion current and is directed from P to N. The current made of the movement of minority charge carriers is called the drift current and is directed from the N to P. In equilibrium, the diffusion and drift currents are equal and therefore the average net current in the whole device is zero. In this lecture, I discuss the formation of the PN junction, diffusion and drift processes and the equilibrium state in a PN junction. In the next lecture, I will discuss the PN junction built-in voltage, energy band diagram, and types of PN junctions. Thanks for joining this lecture of Picademia.